Hello, my wonderful preschool artists. I am so excited to be working with you today. This is Miss Baker, and I'm here to show you how we can make some faces out of things found around the house. So for this lovely face that you see here, I used a couple of flowers and a toilet paper tube. As you can see, I just had a little vase of flowers and a toilet paper tube. I'm going to show you how we can build these faces in a variety of ways. You can really use anything. I have two cups. Doesn't matter if they're the same size. What do you think those are gonna be? I have some Cheerios, which are just so handy to have around with those lovely circles. But I could really use anything. What do you think those are? All right. Do you see my face starting to form? I'll bet you do. Now I think my face kind of looks like a frog, so I'm going to change him just a little bit. I'm going to get rid of that mouth, and I'm just going to give him a straight smiley face. I'm going to get my toilet paper tube out and cut a little triangle out for the nose. There you go. Let's see what else I can do. What happens if I flip my cups around? Oh, I got some eyeballs. And now I'm gonna make a few eyebrows. Let's see if I can do better. Let's clear all this stuff out of the way. I had an egg carton. And my lovely three-year-old daughter painted the inside for me. Now I'm going to use a pair of scissors, so mom and dad, you might want to help with this part. It's a little tricky to cut out these circles. So I'm just going to cut a few out and see where it goes. Okay, those don't look too great, so I'm going to give them a little trim. I'm not throwing anything away because I might use it later. Right, I think I'll use those for my eyes. I've got some handy eyebrows from those pieces of egg carton that I cut out. Let's see what my Cheerios can do here. Maybe I'll draw my nose with those Cheerios. Let's see what I can do with this toilet paper tube. I'm gonna get my scissors out and cut some loops off. If I just play with that a little bit, I can make a pretty handy pair of lips. Let's try again. I cut a few more of those little loops out of the toilet paper tube for my eyes. I'm gonna use some Cheerios as eyeballs. Another little piece of cardboard for the nose. And I, I like those lips that I had before, so I'm gonna use those again. Let's try that. Let's see if I can fit that in there. Eh, doesn't look like it's gonna work, so I'm not gonna do that. Right, I'm gonna make some eyebrows. Can't forget those. And maybe I'll make some hair with my Cheerios. No, oh, I'm liking how this is turning out. So you might be thinking, Miss Baker, what do you want me to do? I want you to build your own face out of things you find around the house. You don't have to glue anything down. Just take a picture of what you do with your um, phone or your Chromebook. And then you're going to upload either a video of you doing it or a picture of the final result to Flipgrid. And I'll leave instructions on how to do that. So I want you just playing with different materials you find around the house to make a face. You can see I cut some grass from my yard to, give, to, to make some hair. This is a lot of fun, and it's a great way to get your preschooler thinking about faces and thinking about using alternative materials for art making. You don't need anything specific, just a surface and your imagination. I hope you had fun watching, and good luck constructing your faces.